folks, it's Gregory Cockery here in the Fender Custom Shop Lair, NAM 2015, with Mike Lewis, the venerable, the mighty Mike Lewis. I've known you for a long time. Yeah, too long to remember. That's right. Guitar playing wizard, but also a pivotal individual in the history of Fender, making the guitars what they should be. And Gretsch, actually. You came in there and you went, Whoosh! and made them happen. You're kind of Mr. Magic. There is like a hue, multicolored and transcendental in nature surrounding <laughs> you. An aura, guitar, wizardry. And you've added this savage sangria, if you will, to the Fender Custom Shop with these postmodern devices. Yes, sir. Tell us. Well, postmodern is a really cool concept. When I first decided to do it, I was thinking of being reverently irreverent. It's a lifestyle. It is. It's always been my policy. Indeed. And it's kind of a reassessment of modern assumptions. Okay? So we're not bound by any particular year or era or design. What we did was we looked back, back over the years and took note of all the Fender firsts right. that came out on various guitars. So what would it be like if we combined some of these things in ways that were never combined before? Things that work well in a single instrument. Yes. Okay. So when you sit back and you dream up your favorite guitar, you know I love a 57 strap, but I really wish it had this or that, or it was more like this or whatever. Right. Well, here it is. Excellent. Here's an example. Looks like a Strat, right? Yeah. Looks like a regular one. And it is kind of cool. So what we've done here, the, the ever popular extreme okay. contours. Back cutaway, top contour, like a 57 Strat. However, it's got like 60s style. Right. Big guard. Big guard. 11 holes, the way it's routed and everything. You got hand wound fat 60s pickups in here. Uh huh. Okay. The way it's wired is the bridge pickup got your own tone control. Okay. Which cool. is which yeah. is by itself, right? This tone control works on the neck in the middle. Okay. We also have our tone saver circuit here. So that unlike other treble bleeds right. that artificially remove bass and add highs, kind of makes it kind of tinny sounding when you turn it down. Right. Well this circuit, the tone doesn't change. It just gets less loud. It stays loud. exactly the same as it goes down. Less loud. I can dig it. Dig it. Okay. So as you turn the guitar over, you notice this very stealthy kind of rolled over uh, neck heel here, which allows easy access to your high uh, frequencies. Here. Which I find might mitigate some of the facial expressions that people are when they're going up here and they're going, ha, ha, usually they're digging into their head. Going, oh, 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 oh. That's right. Those, those same expressions are now expressions of elation Indeed. and joy. The Ecstaticaster. Because I'm getting such great tone and access. Indeed. The contentment caster. Okay, so we also have like a nice uh, uh, 60s C shape, C shape on the neck. Okay. Very popular and comfortable. And the fingerboards, both maple or rosewood, are round lamb. Okay. As opposed to a one piece. Okay, the round lamb is like less material on there and allows a little bit more mid range to pop through the tone. Uh huh. Okay. Now on the strat, you notice there's no string tree. Right. Did you notice that? I did notice that. You were you looking? But you can go up here and go, sweetle, dweedle, dweedle, and do all the behind the nut rustling. It's right. You got a lot more access for the sweetle deedle. And the staggered vintage machine heads allow you to not have the need for that. Right. Okay. Because they go over the nut evenly, correct? That's right. Exactly. Strap locks. And the finish on here, uh, the postmodern is available in either what we call journeyman relic uh -huh. or NOS. Got it. So journeyman is like, you look it up on Google, and it says, the occasional hard worker. I went, that's it. Indeed. Okay. So you so, don't want to completely defile just a nice patina of usury. Well, when I was working on the American Vintage Project, I looked at a lot of vintage guitars. Most of them look like this. Yes. Okay. Very well taken care of. Used, but not abused. Yes. Handed down passed around, played mostly around the house, jam sessions, the occasional gig, right. always taken care of, always wiped down. Right. So you notice there's no real wear on here, no real playing wear, yeah. but it's got age. Yeah. Very, a lot of character, okay? So in the postmodern series, we also have tellies. Same kind of concept, same basic features, except we do have a string tree, you don't need that on a telly. We're using, um, the twisted telly pickups on the on the Love telly. It. 
Yep. The RSD bridge on the telly, which the middle uh, saddle is cut in half so that you can like actually intonate the, right. the D and the G string together. But, but still, still got still, the brass thing happening. Still got the brass thing happening, the vintage look and vibe and the tone yeah. of those bridges. Oh, I forgot to ask you. What's what's the the radius? Are they compound radius? They are compound radiuses, nine and a half to twelve. Cool. And they have sixty one oh five frets, so it's like very comfortable down here for cording. And as you play up the neck, you get about a ten inch radius around the the, ten, the twelve yep. fret. And then as you're bending, you're going up here to the twelve inch radius. No choking or anything like that. It's really nice. Postmodern bass, and it's kind of the hit of the show last night. I Excellent. Think. Uh, it's a real simple concept. It looks like a vintage bass. Right? Basically what it is, it's a P-based body, a 60s style P-based body, and a early 60s style jazz bass neck. Real simple. Oh, cool. Okay. There's no other weird things going on with the pickups or anything like that. It's a P-base right. with a jazz bass, bass neck. neck. You got the 63 uh, P-base pickup in here that's dipped in shellac, so okay. it's very live and open sounding. We're using the RSD bridge on it. Oh, okay. Heavy mass bridge. You notice that the saddles are enclosed on both sides, so when you're pounding on the base, the saddles don't slide back and forth. Got it. It's either rear loaded, or top loaded, or oh, rear loaded. Very cool. Of course, it has strap locks too. It has the nice the elation heel. For okay. the ever popular upper register bass solo. That's right. <laughs> That's for after the drum solo. <laughs> We're using the stealth A string retainer here. Ah. Okay, so it keeps the angle of the A string nice and tight over the nut, so you get a big, big fuller, fatter sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the open back, uh, modern tuners with the vintage keys. It's beautiful. Also available in the uh, Journeyman Relic or NOS. Very cool. I like that concept, the Journeyman Relic. Yeah, the occasional hard worker. Yes, very cool. And that's the Postmodern Series, available soon at Wildwood Guitars. And look forward to Mike actually coming to the Wildwood Bunker where we are going to pillage like Vikings and then we are going to frequent all the restaurants on the Strip in Louisville, Colorado. And cause terror. Indeed. As we do, Mike, always a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. For Wildwood Vision, we'll see you later.